I was born in Baku, Azerbaijan, which is a big oil country. And I remember from like very young how there was always a little bit of a sheen of oil on the Caspian Sea. And so I was always curious, even when I was very young, what does it mean for the fish that we collect from the Caspian Sea? This is where I decided that I wanted to become a chemist. Uh, and then I specialized in geochemistry before uh, focusing on oceanography and uh, looking at uh, the mercury cycle in the global oceans. My name is Amina Sharta, and I am an associate professor at Scripps Institution of Oceanography, University of California, San Diego. Our ultimate goal is to reduce mercury exposure to primarily human population, but also higher level wildlife. So we eat fish because it's healthy for us. It has omega-3s and THA and EPA, all these important nutrients for brain development especially, but it also contains some of these uh, contaminants that people have heard of, which is mercury and POPs, which is the uh, persistent organic pollutants. So this is the stuff that is purely anthropogenic, human-made. And so at which point do we cross over that threshold of where we have so much of the bad stuff in our fish that it's no longer beneficial for a human to consume uh, wild fish? The reasons that I came to Scripps is because as a mercury expert, we greatly benefit from um, specialists and experts across all the disciplines that we have to touch upon when we study our elements. Mm -hmm.